Okay, I just want to make a real quick video showing my setup that I think is pretty good for a digital artist um, in a lot of cool ways. Um, so anyways, this thing first, this is a mono price monitor right here, and it's really good high quality definition. Um, it's new, it just came out. So the drivers for it suck miserably, but I'm working with a company called Touch Base. I think it's like touch-base.com or something. Um, and they're building the drivers for the monitor, um, custom, which you'll be able to download after I build them all and work with them or whatever. Um, and I think you have to pay for them. I think they might be like a hundred dollars for the drivers. Um, but the, once you get the drivers working, it will work. It works pretty much just like the Cintiq. In fact, better because you can customize all the options way better. Um, and it's touch and pin. And so it's pretty, pretty cool thing. Um, and that was only 800 bucks versus the Cintiq Touch, which I think is like, I don't even know. Yeah, that's like 22 inches. So anyways, it's a big monitor, works really great. That's the giant iMac, so it maybe looks small next to it, but it's huge. Um, anyways, I'm going to set this here and I'm going to show something cool that I do with all my programs and stuff. I don't know how much... Of the screen you can see kind of see that I guess okay so this is a wireless Bluetooth remote there's a bunch of them on Amazon you can go on Amazon and just type in um, Bluetooth media remote I guess Bluetooth media remote there's a ton of them on here like this one would work you can find a bunch of them, they'll work. Any one of them will practically work. And uh, you can program the buttons to do certain things, like this little flat one will work. The one I got um, is not currently in stores that I've seen, because I went to find it again, and I couldn't find it, but it's like as thin as the Apple remote, which the Apple remote will work as well. But if you have the newer iMacs, the Apple remote doesn't work because it doesn't have infrared in the new MyMax. Why'd they take it out? I don't know. But you can buy this little infrared reader, which is F-L-I-R-C, um, FLIRC, I guess, I don't know. Um, and then you can plug that in to any USB port and download their little program here, and then you'll be able to, um, don't reopen, don't reopen. You'll be able to download this little plugin and, uh, program the Apple remote to do whatever you want or you can program it to do um, keyboard functions or whatever else you want to do with the Apple remote so it will perform on your computer. I've been doing this. I tried to make an iPhone app a long time ago that would do this and was talking to Wacom and ironically um, Wacom just came out with a tablet that has a remote that like I think it's funny. Anyways, um, so the uh, remote thing I kind of want to just tell everybody so that way they know they can do it without using it and it works amazing when you're drawing so basically you get the infrared reader you get the little flirk program or you just get a standard bluetooth remote any kind this one's okay like it's got a ton of buttons that I can program but the buttons are hard to push on this remote so I might try getting a new one uh, but anyways the Apple remote works great it just doesn't have a ton of buttons options for you. So download this program. It's called Controller Mate. I think the program is like 20 bucks, but basically you can like map out what your buttons are like and map their functionality and they're like all widgeted and strung together and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. So this is the remote right here essentially. So like this does this one, this button does this, this button does this. And so I've mapped the buttons out to do specific functions. You can close the program um, whenever you don't want to use it or whatever. So what I do is, so here's drawing, right? Um, I've got a button for undo, um, which I just press this undo redo button. So I don't even have to touch the keyboard. It's pretty rad. And then, um, so another cool function, say you want to change your brush size or hardness, um, it which... This is a cool trick in general. If you got a Wacom tablet and you don't know about this, you need to know. But anyways, if you hold down on a keyboard, control and option, 
and then you click and drag. If you drag left and right, it changes your brush size. If you drag up and down, it changes the hardness and softness of your brush. That trick alone is pretty phenomenal. And I feel like every artist should be using it. Uh, but anyways, so you can change the size. I just have that control and option uh, uh, modifier keys. When I press down this button, it auto does it. So like I just program it to where I can change my brush size and keep drawing. Oh, I want a smaller brush. Oh, keep drawing. Oh, even smaller. And then just keep drawing. So like I, I don't have to stop basically my flow of whatever I'm creating. Um, I can just kind of go here and do these buttons. And again, you can program these buttons to do anything. Um, like I have this one right here set to be the eyedropper. So now I've got gray or eyedropper. Now I'm back to black or eyedropper. Oh, now I got white. Um, oh, I'm going to change the size of my brush, you know, or, oh, I want to zoom in or zoom out. Like I've got these keys to where they zoom in and out and you can just hold them and then I can come in here and zoom out. I've got uh, this key here in the middle for my pan. So it's like essentially holding down the space bar um, when I hold it. Um, this is a fast zoom in and out. So it's the same thing. I just made them faster. And then control Z, obviously. I can control Z everything or redo everything with this button. Um, eye dropper. So I can just kind of go to town here and uh, draw pretty fast um, with lots of different um, quick functions all in a remote so I don't have to even touch the keyboard anymore it's pretty it's pretty dang cool um, so this function I've been using for a while and it's you know it's a really really neat function uh, to have a remote on hand because your mind is like a two-part drawing thing and so if you like you break the drawing into two hands it actually works better. A lot of people think drawing is just with one hand, but when you're drawing, you have a tablet in your hand, like a piece of paper. You're actually turning the piece of paper with one hand while you're drawing the lines with the other. So it is, it is a two drawing is a two handed thing, whether you're left handed or right handed. Um, and Wacom until recently didn't even consider that. They just give you the tablet and we're like, Oh, we draw with the tablet. And it's like, Oh, that doesn't actually work. Cause that's the one you need the second hand to do the turning, and there was no function like that. Um, the only thing you can't really do with this tablet is twist the artboard, um, which you can on some Wacom tablets. If you turn the touch on, oh, my touch isn't on on here, but you can pinch and twist the artboard. Uh, but that's what's cool about this screen over here is that when the touch is activated, I can pinch and twist, pinch and zoom, and then I can just have all my quick keys on this button. So I do all my zooming and pinching on the screen and turning on the screen. And then I do control Z and hold alt or hold shift or hold control alt with the controller and then draw. So that's basically the whole setup. And then you just program your remote with this. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's, uh, that's worth mentioning. I think that's kind of, uh, I think that's kind of it. So that's kind of the whole setup I have going and it works works really well so uh, try it sometime download a Bluetooth remote and you know get it off Amazon just to, and then download that controller mate program and then if you want a cheap Wacom Cintiq touch monitor it's only 800 bucks you can get this mono price one um, and remember hold down control and all at the same time and you get this awesome little brush changing dialogue thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what to call it, but it's so cool. And uh, that's only in Photoshop. I'm sure it works in, there's some other system for it in other programs, but um, in Photoshop, it is phenomenal and changing the speed and whatever you're doing with your brush. So that's it. That was all, it's all my drawing tips.